Okay, so from this point, we're going to learn how to use the pen tool. And to recap, we went ahead and we imported our JPEG of this background so that we could draw on top of it. Um, we've gone ahead and created a layer by doing that, and then we've gone ahead and locked it. So before we get too much further, we want to make sure that we've saved what we've done so far. So we're going to go ahead and click File, Save to Cloud As, and when we get this option here, we're going to go ahead and put our name in here and Drawing Tools. Okay, It pops up initially as Untitled, and Untitled doesn't get us anywhere. So we want to make sure that we save it with our name and what it is. And go ahead and save it. Okay, so now we've got something to work with. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and click on this pen tool right here. And once we get that, we get some options. And we want to go over to our fill and make sure our fill is at 0% because we don't want anything inside it. We want to be able to see our lines as we, as we tap on them. Okay, so in order to make these lines, this is going to be super simple. We're just going to click. We're not going to click and drag. We're not going to double click. We're just going to single click every place there's a dot and follow it all the way around. So let's click, 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 click. We've got our little guidelines along the way to make sure that we're still straight or close to being straight. And then when we get back to the end, this closes our shape and you see it highlights back up here when we're right on the right spot and so we can click there and that closes our shape now we can move our pen around and nothing else is going to happen so we see that is our shape the next one we're going to go to is a straight line and we go ahead and click here and then click on the end but you see we can't just go over to the next one because if we try to do that um, it's going to want to continue our shape and we don't want that to happen. So when we get over here, we're just going to hit escape and that ends our line right there. And it also gives us our black arrow tool, which is our selection tool. So when we're ready to do our next line, which is going to be a dotted line, we go ahead and go back up to our pen tool, click on it, come back down here, Click on the dot. Again, we're not dragging it. We're just click. We're not holding it. We're just clicking. Okay. And I'm having a little trouble getting it straight, but click there. And then with this one, we want to make it a dotted line. Right now, it's a solid line. So we just hit escape again, so I don't try drawing all over my page. And I've got my arrow tool. And now I'm going to go back down here and try to find. We're going to click back on the line to select our line and then go down here to get our options. And so we're going to go down here in the borders area. Click on these little advanced border settings over here. Click on that. And that brings up our dashes and our gaps. And so in order for us to kind of see what we're doing, you can make these anything you want. But in order to make us see what we're doing, we're going to make these five each. So five for dash, five for gap, five for dash, five for gap. And as we do that, we can see that our line over here is turning into a dashed line. And so we're just going to hit enter. And then we have our dashed line over here and we click off of it. And so now we have dashes. All right. Um, when we want to go back over here again for our next one. We'll go ahead and click on our pen tool once again. And we'll click. And then we'll click. And we're back to, to a solid line once again. Because if we wanted our dashes, we'd have to go back down. We'd have to hit escape again. Click on our line. And then go back and find our, our borders. Change it here once again. So that's... All there is to doing a straight line. And then you have your last one over here, and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to click on your pen tool, and then click follow the dots all the way around, creating an anchor point 
at each dot. Again, only single clicking, not clicking and dragging. That's for the next part. Click here, click here, click here. And when we get to the end, we're going to hit escape and we have our line and we're good to go. So that's the next part.